Welcome back, everybody. It's Mark again. We have some huge changes in Critical Ops 1.20.0. The update is out for beta. So if you're on test flight or Android beta, you can definitely check it out. But there are so many changes. This video is going to take so long. I actually have class in half an hour. So I think we're going to go over this half an hour cap. But let me just explain lots of changes. I'm just going to read it off basically for you guys to see. And I'll probably put it up on the screen as well for you guys. But what's been happening with Critical Ops? There there have been global changes, which means a new occlusion system, which has fixed many of the reported objects disappearing glitches. So you basically won't have a lot of things disappearing anymore. More objects are now penetrable. So you can wall bang a lot more things in the game now. You're not as safe anymore. I don't know how I feel that until, you know, we actually get to play into the games, but let me know what you think about that. There's improvements to the underlying tech aimed at better performance. Now that's great because I like higher FPS. However, I've been getting a lot of server lag lately, so it's definitely not my internet i have really good internet right here where i am so it's definitely the servers i've been talking to other people they've been having a lot of servers as well um, glass now properly adheres to aim assist and spotting so before when you were aiming through glass it didn't actually help you with aim assist now it does so that's pretty nice for a bot player like me they've pricked uh, improved player collision for less stuck spots so now you won't just like die when you get stuck there or you won't just get stuck there at all they fixed the majority of reported bomb stuck spots thank god we can't have any griefers now they're just throwing the bomb off the map and then you can never get it anymore that's so annoying then they've also consistent uh they they've made consistent colors and lighting regardless of quality level which is nice because before if you were on low i think it was like more yellow and as you got higher quality it was more blue so that's how you could tell if someone was on lower higher um quality as far as their uh, graphics were and now the characters stand out a bit more as you can see in these pictures here the rim color is now more visible um, with the exception of purify so if you look at basically the before and after photos you, they're just more outline is basically what it looks like they, they went into photoshop and they're like outline put that up a little bit so that's basically it as far as that goes but um, we're going to drop into every single map, I think, that has made changes, which is going to take a while, but we're going to do it, okay? So first map we're going to jump into is the map of Arctic. Um, it, the, the changes that are made where all the crates are not penetrable and there's improved lighting overall. So if we're going to go here now, all right, so you can see the lighting is pretty good. I would say it, it's lit up very well and you can very clearly see everything. They said all crates are now penetrable. So if you want to go over to the bomb site, uh, I believe these are some crates right here uh, yeah so you can probably shoot through those you can shoot through these i'm assuming as well um so yeah you can let's see will it work yeah it will you see that you see that you shoot through here and it gets shot right there so a lot of these crates are now penetrable the map looks a little bit better but that's really it for arctic let's move on to the next map which is bout so here on the map of Bout, they've lowered the walls and other objects that are now penetrable or no, the low walls are not penetrable. So you are not safe anywhere on this map anymore, basically. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate because I used to hide behind these a lot. But yeah, these low walls, I think that's what these ones are, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can see they're penetrable now. So if you hide there, you will definitely die. And the tree is not penetrable. So you can shoot through that. You can see the bullet holes on the other side. Boom, bada, bing, bada, boom. There's some bullet holes right there. Um, so yeah, it is the tree is not penetrable right in the middle of the entire map. I think these crates were also penetrable to begin with. So there's also improved spawn locations. So you won't just spawn here and then die. But that are those are the main changes for Bout. You can instantly see Brewery has a very different vibe. It's a lot darker now, like lighting wise. And it's a lot more yellow is what it seems like uh but the two main things that they spotted out about brewery was that more objects are now penetrable for instance the green tarps which i think are these ones right here so you can see they will get shot through right there those are the bullet holes right there after you shoot through them and then as well they've revised inaccessible exterior which means that um i i actually have no clue what they're referring to here but either way i think you can still go revised inaccessible exterior area we're here this is the internet what i don't know either way it seems like this has been fixed the lighting is just very different overall and you can see some of the things have been changed here there's like a little table that's kind of propped up uh well it just it just looks a little bit different i think a lot of the things i mean this, this was here before the chair was here before but um they've made it a little nicer the the shrubbery is very green now so here we go this is the uh area outside and this is brewery these are the main changes that were made and it looks a little bit darker, a little more gothic from what I would say, but overall, 
still the same map, still dim inside. Thankfully, no big changes were made to Bureau aside from the ones in the global changes, but there's a lot that changed from Canal. So uh, they now said all stairs are now accessible again, which means I think you can walk up here, which is nice. Uh, this will definitely provide a lot of stuff. So now you can walk up here again, definitely spot out a lot of things over here before you can actually walk up these. And now you can. So this is what they mean by all stairs are accessible. There's a lot to go around here. They've changed uh, the bomb A site. So if you go look at it here, actually, I just want to go around and uh, yeah, we'll just keep on this. We'll just walk around the map here. But if you look here, I believe it's changed a bit. So you can see the bomb A site. There's crates here. Uh, there's another crate here, uh, but there's nothing for you can like kind of just sit here and peek through anymore. This spot does not exist anymore. So pros will definitely have to adapt to that. They've replaced the crates with these new ones. These are like chests instead of crates, I would say. And they've also changed uh, cafe, I believe. So if you before we go over to B, um, if we look at cafe, it's very lit up right now, which is kind of nice. I think you can sit up here still. Uh, they said they change the colliders. Some chairs and tables are now accessible. I don't think you can, you can go up here, which is nice. You can also go up here. So you can play some interesting off angles right here. Um, it's very bright, so no one's going to blend in, which is nice. And then I think you can go into every single chair and table. So now you can sit on top of these, play some really nice off angles. I like cafe. It's so much cleaner now. It was disgusting before. I wish everything were lit up like this. This will make it so much easier to spot people out, you know? Uh, but I like these changes. They made it so much brighter. And then we're going to go to mid. They added a metal sheet to the trash bins near mid stairs, which is right here. So you cannot actually see anymore through this. If you were peeking out like this, you can't see and they can't see you from this area. They added a metal sheet next to the car on the bridge. So I think they're referring to here. You can see right there. It is the car on the bridge. So the metal sheets right there in case someone was standing here you can't see their feet anymore i think that's what it really does um so the, yeah you can't basically oh oh i know what it is um they basically made it so you can't sit over here and snipe because before you could snipe from here over to catwalk in this uh square position but now you can actually snipe there um, and then they've changed the objects on the boats as well so you can see it's a little bit different there's not like a thousand different ones it's cleaned up i like this but you do move up and down here, so just be aware. It's not a, a smooth transition. You can see you're going up and down. Um, but I think that's really it. Also, we'll go to B site and show you guys what B site is like. It's definitely different as well. They've changed a lot of the crates now, so I think these are still penetrable. Um, oh, they, they actually are not. Oh, wait, they are, I think. Yeah, they are penetrable. So when you're planning here, you are not safe from uh, from getting spammed. They can definitely spam you. So now you realize you have to get full control of the bomb site whenever you're planting out. Overall, I like the changes to canals. I think it cleans up the map a lot. And I think this will make for better play. I also like the color scheme a bit more. It's a little more purple, blue-ish, pink kind of. Um, I like this. So canals, good changes in my opinion. Let's move on to the next map. There's a lot more maps to go through. I'm skipping over cargo division and gallery. I'll tell you what the changes are, but there's just not that many cargo. They revised the spawn position. So you don't longer spawn in the same center area. Um, and then division, they fixed a death spot when you jump out of the vents. So now you don't actually die when you jump out of the vents gallery. The courtyard now resembles legacy's courtyard even more. So there's not too many changes there, but grounded, there's a lot of changes here. So we're going to see here. We spawn here on the B site, um, but they've changed. They made changes to the B site. They removed colliders from the vehicle onto the B site. So I don't think you can necessarily spam here anymore. I think that's what they're referring to. So yeah, you, you can see what's very nice here is that you can't actually get spammed, which is nice. This is this is a huge difference actually because you everyone would always get uh, sp uh, spammed from CT. So huge difference right here. Um, and then they've also removed the colliders. So I think you can, I don't think you can spam right here, but yeah, um, as well. I think you can still see them right here, but uh, yeah, from the vehicles onto the B site. So I, I, I'm actually not 100% sure what the colliders means, but I still think you can spam through this area. That's so nice that they close it off here. I don't know if you can actually spam there still though. We'll see if you can spam. I, I don't, I do actually, I, I, maybe you can spam. Yeah, you, I think you can spam through it. So yeah, so you can still spam. You just can't see. So that's something that will probably be um, big in pro play here. So people will probably be spamming there a lot. Um, 
which is interesting. The objects are now repositioned in A mid and B mid. I'll show you guys that, but the changes to the A site, the wagon is now penetrable, just like any other wagon on the site. So now if you sit here, you are not safe at all. You can see the bullets go, I guess, straight through. No, wagon is now penetrable. Is this not the wagon they were talking about? Did they mess it up? I can, this is not penetrable if I can, oh wait, maybe, maybe it is. I guess it is from that angle. It doesn't seem like from, from this position it's penetrable. Yeah, you know, you're not getting shot there. Either way, I guess it's penetrable on the bottom. That's interesting. Um, and it's also more lit. So yeah, you can see it's not as dark anymore. Bomb site overall, it seems the, the, the lighting just seems kind of off to me. But yeah, I guess, I guess it's just dark on the top now because the lighting is now accurate. You can see it reflects only one area. Um, there are now roofs. Uh, apparently there are no roofs before. So throughout the whole map, which is, I, I guess, kind of nice. You can't really just throw a, a bunch of things now. They've revised an inaccessible exterior area. There is no longer... Um, oh you can't stand up here anymore i can never get the jump to begin with but you cannot stand there this has been patched so they realized people were just sitting here watching over towards b mid you can't do that anymore and then plants no longer have collisions so bullet burger ends grenades will pass through right here so you can see boom bada bing bada boom i believe that shot through um you can see there yeah, the bullets will go through. So you're not protected by your plants anymore. Uh, but yeah, objects have been repositioned just a slight bit over towards A mid. And then with B mid here, uh, let's see. Not too much has changed, I think. But uh, I guess they made it a little bit wider is what it seems like. Lighting over towards B long is very nice. It's very bright. But over towards the back, it looks like uh, just a bunch of forestry. So yeah, this is kind of the changes that have been made. It looks like it's easier for the... Uh, for the CT side, actually, for the coalition side to come in here and, and snipe you out. But honestly, not, not, uh, this one's okay. These changes on this map are okay, in my opinion. I still like canals better, but let's move on past grounded. Also, not covering heat for right now. They've improved the lighting and they've removed a few balconies to improve player collision. So if you guys want to check that out, go check it out for yourself. Legacy, huge change. They removed Subway. The entirety of Subway is now closed off. If you guys look over here, it you, it doesn't exist anymore. It's closed. It's shut out completely. Um, so that that is very, very interesting. They've made changes to reception, which is over here. There's less object density, so just less stuff to see. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nicer this way, I believe. They've changed the restaurant. So obviously the seating area is closed off. They've closed off the subject entrance way. So, um, yeah, this is all you can't. I don't think you can. Oh, wait. It's no longer blocked off. I lied. Oh my, there's a lot of possibilities you can do here. So you can jump up here, you can jump down, lots of areas you can kind of sit in an off angle, maybe have all five people like to kind of stack here or something, I don't know. They've changed glass as well between B and bomb site. They've closed the vents that originally led to the subway entrance. Obviously there's that. And I'm not sure they've really changed too much here. Um, but overall, they've done that. Museum, they've gotten rid of the bomb stuck spots. They've changed the stair room. So let's check out the stair room. Um, boom, bada bing. I got to check it out. And um, yeah, so the stair room here, I, they've changed this a little bit from what they said up top. Seems to be a little bit different. I don't think you can go up here, obviously. Still the same up here. It seems like there's just a bit more space, and this is definitely the big difference up here. So if you look up on the top, uh, they've there is like no barrier anymore. So you you like will just get sniped if you peek out. If there's not like a ring around the rosy. Um, so that's much lowered. And right now, I think up here. Not much has been changed too much. The slanted roof has now smoother player collision. So now you won't just do like, this is hype. You won't just go home, 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 home. It, it won't be like you're jumping every single time, which is very nice. Um, I like this because it makes it easier for you to play like a little picta when you're over there. Um, and then they've also improved the lighting. As you can see, it's very bright on the A bomb site. If we head over to B, all the bigger statues now have pedestals. So very, very nice. They all have these little rings around them um i think that actually makes it harder for you to clear out the angles because you have to peek around way higher and then some objects were slightly moved i can't tell which but either way it feels like it's been a little it's made a little bigger you know it's it's deeper space up here this is huge everything now have pedestals so now you can't just get spammed um 
from this area now. So it's also not spammable. It's a freaking stone pedestal and they can't see you this way. So now they will have to, if they want to clear you out, they'll probably just go to here and just see if you're there. But you could also be sitting right here where they, where they can't see you. So it's going to be really hard to clear out B site right now from what I think on legacy, but overall it's already a pretty coalition sided map. I would say, um, we'll see how it goes from here on out. I think these changes are pretty good for legacy. We'll continue on forward with park a little bit. It looks very different. It looks less like a, it looks like a national park instead of like a, you know, very trimmed up park. The trees are way taller. They look just, they're different trees entirely and the shading is so different. So these are the main things you can see. They've revised the inaccessible area. I, I don't know what that means really. Um, uh, I think that means they've changed the background is what it, what it simply means. So you can see, obviously it looks a little bit different. It looks actually cooler. There's, there's a lot of grass here now. So either that's grass or water. It could be both. You got to clean up that water, but either way, cool changes to, to park. Um, I like them and that's not, that's all I really have to say about park. It looks nice. Pretty massive changes to Plaza, guys. I'm probably gonna have to leave soon, so you'll see me back here. Uh, it won't have looked like time has passed to you, but like many hours will have passed for me. Uh, but they've improved the lighting overall, especially in the dark alleyways. It doesn't look like it's improved here, but oh, okay, I didn't even see that. We'll, we'll, we'll catch that later. Um, so if we go into like A long and B long, I think it's gonna be brighter. You can see it's brighter there already, and it's brighter here. I like this. I like these changes to make it brighter. They've removed some balconies to improve player collision huge changes to b bomb site a bomb site looks like it's relatively similar but b bomb site they added a small wall near the stairs so now you can't just peek up and be a little beaked out when it comes to headshot angles so this is nice they're gonna have to peek out and you are also gonna have to peek out there um, the stalls no longer have a tiny gap so i think there were small gaps here before and i, I actually don't know where the stalls what, what stalls they're referring to um i think they're referring to these but yeah, there is no tiny gap. It's a giant gap now. Um, van underneath the house is replaced by stalls. I don't think you can jump there. Maybe you can make like an incredible jump. Uh, oh, you can. You can. You can. You just have to be... It takes a little bit longer. Their crates are replaced by a new crate over there. So it's one big crate now instead of multiple. And they remove balconies in the corner of the church to improve player collision. Um, I think that's here. The corner of the church. So now, I think this is what they're referring to. I'm not 100% sure. And then the house is slightly changed. It now features a bed inside there. So I that's some lag for me. But yeah, looking at B long, looks a little bit different as well, a little bit brighter. And then we go over here, over towards house, and now there's a bed, which is nice because now you can sit up here and, and watch anyone in these headshot angles, maybe playing plants or, or clear out different angles. So it's not just a cosmetic thing. You can actually go up above. And I think you still have to jump, but it's kind of nice. So pretty big changes to Plaza. I do like most of them for this part. Um, and then you can see the lighting has changed a bit as well. I, I think these are all meant to, to make the game better. So I like this currently. It looks just a bit better. And we're going to go to port really quickly. On port now, they've revised the inaccessible area. So now just the background looks better. It doesn't look very bad anymore. Um, and then they've changed a couple things here. They've improved the lighting. So overall, it looks a bit nicer, looks a bit more realistic. And then they also revised the A bomb site. So you can see new crates here. It looks a little bit better. Obviously, you can still spam it, I believe. Um, so... Yeah, you can still definitely get spammed from there, but overall it looks a bit better. And they've also changed the B-bomb site, so we're going to go there real quick. Um, you can see mid, there's this little sheet, I believe. I don't know if that's new or not, but they've also changed it here. You can see the new crates over here and this crate back here. So it's very similar overall still, but just some changes have been made uh, with the cosmetics and, and what crates they're using. I will be back shortly. I have to go to class, so thanks for... Thank okay, yeah. All right, we're back now with uh, the map of Purify, which I actually don't like ever talk about. Um, they've opened up some of these tunnels over here. So you can see this is a new area on the map that's ha it's been opened. Um, they have also moved to an additional bomb site. So there's more bomb sites on this map. They've moved bomb site A over. So that's a little bit interesting. You can see 
the normal things over here and then they've added more objects throughout the map so there's there's just more bomb sites more stuff going on i actually don't know who still plays this map if you play this map still please let me know because i don't i don't know anyone who plays this map still but either way let me know uh what do you think about this i know the traditional one was right here uh this was like am pretty sure so this is the map of Purify. These are the changes. For the map of Raid, they've improved player collision throughout the entire map. They've added this little gate over here, which is very interesting. So the uh, the entrance over to A Long has been changed out. You can see lots of things change out over here as well. It's definitely not the same as it was before. There's no little weird area over here in this cove. And now they've added a house. So it's not as, it's just a very different vibe when you're pushing on into the bomb site. It feels a little more congested, which I kind of, I, I see is a uh, you know big change maker. Obviously, the, the A site's different as well. The box still is here, and I do believe you can still spam through it. But um, yeah, there's a there's a little box over here as well, and I think this is part of it. You can kind of sit over here as well if you wanted to play an off angle. So lots of different and cool places you can be. This is probably not an off angle, and you probably die very quickly from there. But they've also revised the breach spawn, so we'll go check that out in a second. Um, majority of the bomb stuck spots have also been fixed and this is the a bomb site the new a bomb site you can see there's a little hiding spot over here this will definitely be really annoying if you're going to push onto the bomb site you have to clear that out entirely so yeah that's kind of a, a obnoxious thing you have to be aware about but you can also jump up here like classic like before you can kind of jump up and jump spot over there um there is a new cut this is new just a just a slight bit um you know the the barrels here have been moved around and so you can see there's not as much stuff right here and yeah this is the big thing over there coalition to mid entrance is also different so if we go over here towards the coalition um we will check here you can see there's a big th the thing is there but there's no nowhere to go right anymore you go here and then you go to the right so there's a little stopping area you can probably play here and be a little annoying but also if you're getting cleared out you know who has the advantage there we'll see um so you have to peek around this door basically uh so that's that's the new big change here and there's a huge area over here where you can sit so i feel like raid is just going to be a little more annoying to play honestly now uh there's just a lot more cubbies that people can be at and i mean this is a very white area as far as the lighting goes and then here it becomes very yellow you can tell so lighting just changes throughout the maps you can kind of see it, it it's reflective in the gloves as well it makes sense and then we'll see how breach spawn has changed as well pretty default over here this really hasn't changed too much this is a little bit widened it seems and then it's also very very large over here so you can see the entire spawn area it's huge you can save now probably so if you want to save you can sit over there and then we can check out over here as well there's you know it's just a, it's just much bigger so lots of opportunity for you to play on the breach side of things and yeah this is the changes on raid the last map that they changed was shanty they improved the player collision throughout the entire map so uh those are all the map changes they made changes basically across every single map they were made including the tutorial so the amount of changes per individual map is very different and this can affect the gameplay the visuals and or the performance i'll read their developers comment here and i'll put it up on the screen this is the first major map update coming to critical ops the main reason for these mapped updates are to address issues in terms of bugs performance and gameplay improvements you can expect more map updates in the future as well as these map updates to be more frequent many bugs that were reported to have been resolved now and there are a bunch of gameplay changes here and there where some are bigger than others also we have been developing these updates in close collaboration with a select group of players for example competitive players to ensure that these changes are far for the better of course we'd like to hear your feedback as well thank you for all the reported bugs and other game feedback so far so huge stuff here guys lots of changes going on here and uh, glad to cover this for you guys in the update as well there's some other stuff so there's a game mode rework in a new game mode coming out um, they said that with 1.19 we started a major game mode tool rework that will allow us to create more interesting game modes in the future with 1.20 we will be continuing this rework and we'll release a new game mode as part of the next event so there you go more game mode events coming along soon there's as well custom game commands improvements so freeze is now a special command and command messages are now kept in chat so you can see all of those have a record of them um, we learned uh, their, their comments are that they learned that having the freeze command as a normal command was not very helpful in rooms that did not have special commands on after your feedback we made the freeze command to be a special command instead the command messages are also now improved the update 
behavior of the command messages is that they will now remain in the chat log if they were successfully performed. This means that you can easily track of who performed this command. The previous behavior was that only failed commands would remain in the chat. We feel that having a log of successfully executed commands is more valuable for a multitude of reasons. And last but not least, they have actually had a um, change that have banned players. They cannot join a party. Banned players now have a disclaimer label on their profile so you can see who's been banned. So very nice. You can kind of go back and see like, oh, that player was sus. Four days later, they're banned. You can see on their profile that they were banned. Um, and then ranked game mode requires 250 kills in quick games, not just custom games to enter. So lots of updates to the maps there are some updates to the actual gameplay itself as well so let me know what you guys think about all these changes i actually like most of them still my favorite would be canals uh, i think canals had the best changes i think grounded also had some really good changes um overall legacy was okay park was okay plaza didn't see too much difference there port also didn't see a huge difference um really don't play purify raid is interesting i probably won't like playing raid as much anymore um but yeah let me know what you guys think this was a really long video hopefully you did enjoy it and i will see you all next time i want to see those comments down below if you've watched all the way down you know just comment something I don't, it doesn't matter even you know whatever but i appreciate you all staying here if you want to check out my twitter my twitter is at coolmark482 and follow me on instagram i post like once every two weeks there we have a lot of followers on instagram we get really good engagement like seven to eight hundred likes so keep it up guys i appreciate the support on instagram and i will see you all next time peace out everybody